assalamu alaikum hello students today we have to solve problem number 2.2 of electrodynamics by david j griffiths fourth edition in this problem we have been asked to find electric field at some point p at a distance z apart from the midpoint of a line joining two equal and opposite charges now let us find our required electric field at this point p and definitely that electric field will be the net electric field due to these two individual point charges okay now let's see what will be the electric field at this point p due to this positive charge definitely that electric field will be in this direction like in this direction so this electric field as is named as e1 and let me name these two charges as q1 and q2 okay now this is electric field e1 and definitely this is due to q1 charge and uh, why this electric field e1 is away from this q1 because we are well aware that electric field due to positive charge is away from that charge okay now what is electric field due to q2 at this same point p this electric field at point p will be in this direction towards q2 why because q2 is negative charge and we are well aware that electric field due to negative charge is towards that charge okay now uh, and this electric field is named as e2 okay now let's resolve these two vectors e1 and e2 into their components into their rectangular components now this e1 if resolved into components then its x component will be in this direction like in this way and that will be named as e1x and its y component will be in this direction and will be named as e1y okay now let me resolve this e2 e2 into its components now what will be its components e2 the x component of e2 will be in this direction and will be named as e2 x and its y component will be like in this direction its y component will be in this direction and will be named as e2 y okay that was distance z okay now it's pretty clear that uh, these two components e1y and e2y are opposite to each other and will be equal in magnitude why these two components will be equal in magnitude because these two charges are also equal in magnitude okay these two charges are equal in magnitude q1 charge the magnitude of q1 charge and q2 charge these magnitudes are equal so that's why this e1 y and e2 y are equal in magnitude as these components are equal in magnitude so will be cancelled out so this e1 y and e2 y will be cancel one and other okay now the x components e1 x and e2 x are towards right that means the net electric field at this point p due to these two charges will be towards right okay so the net electric field at this point p will be in this direction so the net electric field will be in this direction okay now let us calculate the magnitude of this net electric field as we have aware that the net electric field is actually due to x components only that's why i can write the net electric field at point p will be equal to will be equal to the sum of x components e1x plus e2x okay now let us write these x components in terms of electric field e in terms of complete electric field sorry in terms of electric field e1 and e2 how will we write that we should know the angle we should know the angle here this angle is named as let me let me say this angle is named as theta 
and definitely the other angle this angle that will also be theta okay this angle will also be theta so we can say that e1x is actually e1x is actually e1 cos theta e1 cos theta and e2x will be e2 cos theta okay now this e1 will be written as uh, what is electric field due to a point charge what's the form uh, uh, what's the formula of uh, that electric field due to point charge that formula is k q divided by r square okay and this electric field e1 is due to charge q1 so will be written as k q1 divided by r square what is r square r is actually the distance r is actually the distance of this q1 charge from this point p and that distance is named as r okay and similarly the distance of q2 from point p will definitely be the same distance so will also be named as r okay now uh, and cos theta will be written here as it is now what's about e2 definitely that will be k q2 divided by r square into cos of theta and once again what is r r is actually the distance of our required point p from our charge q2 okay now in the next step it can be written as what is r r is actually unknown r is actually unknown we don't know the value of r so we will have to convert this r into some known quantities and what are the known quantities here those known quantities are this distance z and this distance d by 2 why d by 2 because the complete distance between these two charges is named as d so half of that distance will be named as d by 2 so according to pythagoras theorem this r square will be equal to z square plus d by 2 square okay so let me write here k q1 divided by and this r square will be written as z square plus d by 2 square and what is cos theta again we don't have the value of cos theta because we we don't have the value of this theta we have introduced this theta ourselves so we will have to remove it we will have to convert this cos theta into some known quantities okay so what will be the cos theta according to any of these two right triangles the cos theta will be equal to base by hypotenuse so that will be that will be equal to d by 2 divided by r so cos theta will be written here d by 2 divided by r and again here k q2 divided by again this r square will actually be equal to z square plus d by 2 whole square and once again that cos theta will be written as d by 2 divided by r okay d by 2 divided by r now again this r is unknown so will be Uh, written in terms of z and d so in the next step it will become like k q1 divided by z square plus d by 2 square and uh, in the next step it becomes sorry here it becomes d by 2 and r r will be r will be square root of according to pythagoras theorem square root of z square plus d by 2 square okay and this one will be written as k q2 divided by again z square plus d by 2 square into d by 2 and r will be written as square root of z square plus d by 2 whole square <clears throat> okay now we are well aware that the quantity is q1 and q2 are same the quantity is q1 and q2 are same that mean i um, uh, i'm saying in terms of magnitudes okay not in terms of signs so the magnitude of q1 and q2 is same so in the next step i can i can write 
instead of q1 and q2 i can write here q and if i write here if i replace this q1 by q and if i replace this q2 by q then both of these two terms will become same and can be added okay so i'm adding here and then i will write here after addition it will become 2kq 2kq divided by uh, into d by 2 divided by divided by what z square plus d by 2 whole square z square plus d by 2 whole square whole power 3 by 2 that's a simple mathematics you're aware now after cancelling out these two terms it becomes k q d k q d divided by z square plus uh, let me write here d square by 4 hope it will not be confusing for you and whole power 3 by 2 okay so this is our final electric field at our required point p this product q into d can also be written as p so this is our final electric field at our required point p now if we say that our this distance z becomes very very large as compared to this distance d then what will happen let's uh, let's see if our distance z becomes very very larger than d then definitely it will become electric field at point p will be equal to k q d divided by now as z is very very large as compared to d so this term inside the square root will approximately be equal to z square okay so i'm writing here z square and whole power 3 by 2 and after cancelling this 2 and 2 uh, the net electric field at point p will be equal to k q d divided by z cube okay so if our distance z becomes very very large as compared to d or in other words uh, i can say that if this point p is very very far away from this composition from this composition of charges then in that case our electric field at point p will be given by this formula okay so this is a special case so this is a special case if z becomes very very large then in that case electric field will be written by this formula okay hope is, it's clear in the next video we will see our next problem goodbye